Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and A2, and on today's video, we're going to take a look at a weird bug in MSI Center, which actually affects how your fans work, especially when rebooting. Now, this is a very weird problem, and for those of you that just want to get straight into it, the easiest thing for me to tell you is what you need to do is to remove the MSI Center that you have installed, especially if it was downloaded from the Microsoft Store. This seems to be the problematic buggy version for some reason, I don't know why. Both versions are exactly the same in terms of their version number, but it does seem that the MSI Center from the Windows website or the Microsoft website or the Microsoft Store, however you want to look at it, has a significant issue with fan control if you're using user scenario. Now in today's video, we're gonna go through and I'm gonna show you how to remove it and how to go back in and also demonstrate the problem as well. So for those of you who just wanna go ahead and fix your PC, just do what I just said, uninstall the version from the Microsoft Store go over to your motherboard, so MSI website for your particular board, like B650, gaming, Wi-Fi, whatever it is, and go to the utilities section, download the version from there, install it, then reinitialize the user scenario app, and you should be all good, especially after reboots. That is pretty much it, but I'm gonna actually go through in some depth now and show you the problem and also how to fix it. So sit down, grab a good drink, this could be a long one. Okay, so this is uh, MSI Center. As you can see, we're currently in the section here for fan control, which is called user scenario. So normally I go into here, I've got fan enabled, go into customize and I set my profiles for the individual fan headers, for my pump speed, etc., fan, all that kind of usual stuff. And if you look in here, you'll see there is a green line which tracks. This is the RPM of the fans currently. And if you move these sliders, you'll see there'll be a slight change. There we go. So it's reacting to these sections here, which is your fan curve, so to speak. Now, sometimes if you've got these set too low, you will get an anomaly. So do bear that in mind. So don't set these right away down, otherwise you potentially could get problems. So just put them to a low spot or wherever you're happy, noise-wise and performance-wise, and you're all good. And also, if you haven't done already, use fan tune the first time you use this, just so the system knows the high and low points of the RPM of the fans. Anyway, so that's the basic idea. So I've got all my fans, etc. there. If you're getting problems with this, you know how it works pretty much anyway. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna shut down the computer. At the moment, PC is absolutely silent, so I'll be quiet a second. Yep, pretty much silent. And what I'm gonna do is gonna shut down the computer. And then when I turn back on the computer, we'll listen to the fan noise. So I've just turned on the computer now, so you can hear the fan noise, hopefully, through my microphone. You won't be able to see anything on the screen because it hasn't booted yet. But normally when Windows or when your computer first starts up, the fans will ramp up a little bit. So we've loaded into Windows now. And uh, hopefully, well, sadly, you'll be hearing my fans. They are all running at pretty much full blast. Now, sometimes this does happen when Windows is first loading because there's a lot of stuff going on. So the CPU temperature does tend to spike a little bit. But let's go into MSI Center. Fan control is still enabled. We'll go into customize. And you can see here already, all of the fans are at stupid speeds, which they should not be. So if we go into system fan header five, for instance, you can see the temperature at the moment, the CPU core temperature is only 42 degrees Celsius. So we should be somewhere around here in terms of fan speed, but we're not. Clearly you can see the RPM is on this line here. Now to remove the bug or to kind of reset it, all you need to do is just to move one of these very slightly. So move that one down and straight away you can see that the fan RPM is dropping straight away. Now, unfortunately, because I'm using a lot of different headers, I've got to do this on every single header every single time. And it's an absolute nightmare. And then when I've done the system fans, I've then got to go into the CPU fan one. Sometimes that does actually kick in after. But you can see here the pump fan is still running way more than it needs to so just drop that a little bit and see you can see the curve is dropping straight away so it's definitely a, a real big problem with this and you don't want to have to do this every single time you restart your pc because that's an absolute pain in the backside now of course you can use other programs such as fan control i've done a video on that which i'll link below so if you want to use that instead you're more than welcome to but this actually is a relatively easy if not lengthy fix so let's close this down we'll close down MSI Center, go down to the bottom here and we'll choose Exit. Then we'll go into our control panel, into Settings and we'll go into Apps. 
And then we can go into installed apps. And what we want to do is to find the MSI Center and the SDK. So we want to get rid of both of those. So we'll uninstall Microsoft Center or MSI Center rather. And then the MSI Control Center SDK, we'll get rid of that as well. And you'll get the user account control. So we'll click on yes. And yes, we want to get rid of it. This bit takes actually quite a while. So I'll fast forward through this for you. And there we are, we're at the end now. So it says it was successfully removed your computer and you can see it's removed it from there. So at this point now you can, if you want to restart your computer, I'm going to go ahead and quickly do that now. Okay, so the computer has rebooted and now I'm actually just using the settings from the BIOS, which I've set the fans up already. And yeah, it's pretty much fine. There's a little bit of noise there, but not a great deal. It's absolutely understandable. So if you wanted to install MSI Center, normally you'd go to the Microsoft Store and MSI Center, and you can choose to install it there. And I think it does say that somewhere that this is version 2. Point wherever it is, currently at 2036, which is the latest version, which is what I had installed, and that was what was causing problems. So we want to avoid that, and now we're going to go to the MSI website, Edge Wi-Fi, which is my particular board, obviously just use whichever board you have. Go over to the support tab, and then go over to utility, and you'll see there is the MSI center there. Again, same version, 2036, same release date, so we're going to click on download, save this to our desktop. This will be a zipped file, so we're going to need to unzip this once it's finished, which uh, shouldn't take too long at all. So to unzip the file, we want to right click on it and choose extract all, and we'll extract it to the desktop, which is where the file is. We can delete both of these files after the installation is completed. So now we've got our MSI center. So we just double click that to install it as you would a normal program. You'll get the user account control come up for MSI Center. Click on yes and choose your language. I'm going to choose English and then install and then just let it do its thing. And I'll come back to you when we've got something else to interact with. Okay, and that is completed now. So we can click on finish and we can close that window and we'll get rid of those files because we don't need those anymore. Send those to the recycle bin. And we go to our start menu. MSI Center will be recently started. So let's uh, open that up and you'll get the user account control, click on yes. The installation now will take a little while, so I'll fast forward through this for you to save you the pain. Okay, so now that has finished. So at this point now, if you want to, you can log in if you have a MSI account. The choice is entirely up to you. But what we want to do is we want to actually add in some of the other apps now, because we've got gaming gear, because we've got a mouse installed. So let's go down, and the only two that I tend to use really is the Mystic Light and User Scenario. So let's get those started. And if we scroll back up to the top, it'll come up in a minute saying they're installed and they will appear here. And then you can choose to open them. And there we go, as expected, we've now got Mystic Light and we've also got User Scenario. So we'll click on Open. And next we're gonna turn on Fan Control. And then we're gonna go in and customize our fan speeds. So these are gonna be pretty much as they were previously. And you will find sometimes it sets it up as manual fan rather than being smart fan. So just make sure we're set to smart fan. So that is our AIO pump. And you can see our other fans are starting to go slightly nuts already. So that should be absolutely fine. So we'll just wait for the fan speeds to normalize. These should stay around the sort of 650 mark if I've done it right. That one's a little bit high, so let's uh, reduce that down a little bit. You can set these to however you want to, depending on the fans and what is connected to what actual connection. And there we are, we're getting towards the 600s there. So this one's still a little bit high. So I'll bring it down very slightly. That's absolutely fine. So there we are, we've got our fan set up now to our preferences, so they're not too noisy and they're not too distracting if the CPU ramps. So now the real test is gonna be if we now close this down, we'll restart the computer and uh, hopefully the fans will maintain the settings I've just given them.
Fingers crossed. Okay, so the computer started back up now. So we'll give it a few seconds for MSI Center to kick in. And it sounds pretty good already. So yeah, we've gone straight back in and as you can see, the fan speeds are exactly where we wanted them to be. If we go back into the individual fans, they're showing normally, they're in smart fan mode and the green line, which is the fan RPM, is tracking normally at the 42 degrees Celsius, which is where we are at the moment. So yeah, that's about there. So yeah, that makes absolute sense. That is working perfectly. So there you go, that is how to fix the problem should you be experiencing it. I'm guessing that it's going to be a very niche thing, but hopefully some of you have learned some things along the way. And if this problem does occur, then you know what to do and how to rectify it. I think the biggest mistake was using the Microsoft Store. That's probably not the best idea. It does seem to be a little bit problematic at times. Anyway, so to wrap up the video, in the first section, we worked out the problem and explained what the problem is. Second part was actually removing the problem. Third part was rectifying that by installing the MSI Center from the MSI website. And that's it, we're pretty much done. So hopefully this is gonna fix your problems. If it doesn't, then feel free to reach out on our Discord. Links for that will be in the video description below so you can check it out for yourselves. If you've got any comments or questions, put them in the comments section below. And of course, if you want to, you can join our Discord and just have a chat about tech in general, should you wish to. So that's gonna wrap this video up. I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.